Hey y'all, welcome to Large Family Diabetic Cooking. This is Stephanie. Uh, it's early in the morning, everybody's still sleeping, so I'm gonna try and keep my voice down as much as I possibly can. Uh, today, we're going to be making cinnamon rolls, and I'm going to be using my low-carb flour. Um, the only thing that I'm going to do differently um, is I'm going to double the liquid because the uh, carbolose flour has the consistency of bisquick. So I've had to, I doubled up on the liquid and it worked perfectly. I made some last night for the house and I'm making some for a friend. Um, she's allergic to brown sugar so I'm not using brown sugar in hers. I don't use brown sugar in mine either because with the um, cream cheese frosting that I uh, use on top, uh, you don't need the brown sugar and you don't miss it. So, let me show you what I'm going to do first. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do, um, it calls for uh, this one's the wrong one. I used a different one. Hold on, let me find it real quick. towards the front. Where's that? Oh. I might have to go back a little further. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back a little further. This way. Oh, there it is. It was on the other side of it. Okay. Um, this is going to come. We're going to do this part first. So we're going to do four cups flour. Let me put you guys this way so you can see. We're going to do four cups of carbolo flour. to do a fourth of a cup of flour or sugar and we're using the Splenda blend the only thing you're going to double up on is just the liquid so I'm going to get a fourth of a cup of sugar in here and I'm using the Splenda blend. Okay, and I need a tablespoon. Let me make sure I'm right. Yes, one tablespoon because it's got to go in with the milk and the water for the liquid. You'll put that in your measuring cup. One tablespoon in your measuring cup, liquid measuring cup. Salt, because salt's got to go in here. So, how much salt? One teaspoon. One teaspoon of salt in with your flour. Put the tablespoon of salt in there, or salt in here. Flour, sugar. 
So now we got to do two cups. Okay, if this normally, for this one, it would normally be, if you're using regular flour, you would use one cup uh, milk. But because of, like I said, the consistency is like Bisquick, you're gonna use two cups. So I'm gonna add two cups. Of milk you can use whole milk you can use 2% and then I'm going to add a fourth of a cup of water and then this is going to go in the microwave I'm going to put this in the microwave till it's warm. And then we're going to add our yeast. And the amount of yeast you're going to add is 2 and 1 4 teaspoons. So there's my teaspoon here. push it up the sides of the um, mixture bowl, but that's because of the consistency of the um, way I test it, because it's warm, is I take a little bit of it and pour it on my wrist. Five tablespoons of butter. You're going to add five tablespoons of melted butter. Let's clear that. Melt that. And I'm going to add in my two and a four teaspoons of yeast. I didn't double the recipe of uh, flour or anything like that. So, we're good. We're going to set this aside. My yeast is extremely fresh, so it'll bubble up in about five minutes. It says to set it aside for 10, but I didn't even need to um, do it that long because it bubbled up pretty fast. There's a few more minutes. 
seconds. This in the fridge. This in the sink. It's not completely melted, but I don't want it to get too hot. I'll use the remnants to clear, whoops, to melt the rest. All right. So, my, um, wow, I bubbled up fast. It's not completely bubbled up all the way, but it is bubbling up fast. So, uh, wow, you can actually, wow. I'm actually watching it grow. That is, <laughs> that is so cool. And it's just spreading out and just growing. So that that's how you know your yeast is good. Um, the last thing you want to do is throw away your um, everything you've made because your dough won't rise. Because your yeast is um, your yeast is bad. So the best way to test your yeast. Um, is to take a little bit of milk and put some of the yeast in it with a little bit of sugar and test your yeast to make sure that your yeast is good. If it bubbles up and, and everything, then your yeast is fine. Um, I always keep my yeast in the refrigerator. And what I don't use, um, the, stuff, the yeast that I do use, um, I keep in a refrigerator. And the rest that I don't use, I keep in a freezer. So, let's add our liquid because it has bubbled up and I'm going to show you and it wasn't even five minutes so we're going to put that in our mixer here and get this to do what it needs to do may seem like a lot of liquid. It really isn't. And then um, another thing I had to do was I had to add an extra half a cup of flour. sides down because it's not pulling the sides down aren't, aren't going down so which I had to do yesterday when I made these so so my daughter plays dart ball and uh, my best friend's niece wants my cinnamon rolls My daughter's going to darts because my best friend's niece plays darts also. And I kind of, I consider her my um, adopted daughter. That's my baby girl. <laughs> I have a lot of adopted daughters, let me, let me tell you that. <laughs> Got about three or four. Oh, wait a minute, there's Amber, Sam. Amy. 
I'm drawing a blank right now, but um, I have quite a few. And, but those are my girls. Oh, and Diane. She was the one who bought the pie pan. Well, the cake pan. Let, let, let's put it that way, the cake pan. <laughs> and tried to say, it did the same. No. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna add our butter. show you and I just pull it away from the sides of the bowl um it's going to be sticky it will be sticky but let me tell you it's worth it four tablespoons of butter or flour so it wasn't quite a full but yesterday was an off day yesterday it was extremely it was raining and thunder and so and sometimes the weather can have a lot to do with how your crust or dough will turn out as to whether you need to add more liquid or add more flour. But like I said, because of the consistency of the, uh, uh, Carbolos, because it has the consistency of, it has the consistency of, um, Bisquick, uh, I had to double up on the, on the liquid because uh, when I tried with just the one cup of, um, of milk, it did not work. So now we're going to cover it up with a um, dishcloth and it's going to sit for an hour. And then I will be back in an hour 
and I will show you guys what we're going to do next. So thank you for joining me. This is Stephanie and Large Family Diabetic Cooking, and um, I'm going to get the sex the uh, next part together in an hour. So I'm going to go watch Joel Olstein because today's Sunday. Got to get my church in, <laughs> and um, God bless you all, and you all have a great day, and I'll see you in an hour. Later.